Welcome to Back to Stitch. We're going to be talking about the house wrap gown today. Your kit will include one body, gown body, two sleeves, one waistband, and a thinner strap for the neckbands that will be cut into three pieces. Let's go take a look at how to construct the gown. So, general information is we're going to use 3 8 inch seam allowance, polyester thread, a size 12 needle. Your stitch length should be about 10 stitches per inch, as well as approximately 3.0 on several sewing machines. The right side of the fabric is the shiny side. So in step one, you're going to be attaching the sleeve to the body at the armhole cutout area. So you're going to stitch that down using your 3 8 inch seam allowance. Then, and if you're using pins, please keep your pins within that 3 8 inch seam allowance to keep uh, from perforating the gown. Step two, you'll be sewing your seam sleeve and your shoulder seam to the neck all in one seam. Make sure that you keep open your thumb holes. So you're gonna stitch where the thumb hole is, back tacking, and you're gonna stop and pick it up again at your sleeve, up over to the neck and across the shoulder. When you're done with that, there'll be a tab on the sleeve and you're going to fold it over the seam allowance, bar tacking that down. It's very handy to sew it from the top side, stitching that tab down, making sure you keep the back of the sleeve from getting caught in your needle, under your needle. So that will create the sleeve, the shoulder seam, and the thumb hole tab. In step three, you're going to take your waistband and fold it in half and then stitch all the way around the edge. This will help reinforce your waistband. The second step of the waistband is to attach the waistband and there will be a red mark on the waistband. You're going to attach that on the outside of the gown on the right side under the arm where an X has been put. And we're just gonna lay that over the top and stitch it down. Let me show you on the completed gown what that will look like. So you can see there was a little red mark there and they just laid it over that red X and it was stitched down in a nice reinforcement. And that way the belt doesn't get lost. And when the medical people wear it, it'll be easy for them to grab and tie. When you get ready to do your neckties, you're gonna take your necktie and cut it into three separate lengths. You'll use two for the gown you're working on and reserve one for the gown, the next gown that you create. Take two of your neck piece, tie pieces, fold them in half, right sides together, and stitch them down the length, bar tacking at the ends. Then when you are ready to attach the neck tie, 
in the second section of the necktie, which will also be step four, you're going to place your necktie underneath this tab, fold your tab down, and you're going to tack your necktie to the gown body, reinforcing it with this tab. Let me show you once again on the completed mask, how that, on the completed gown, sorry, how that looks. We have our tie attached to the gown and this tab came down and was bar tacked and X tacked. Looks more like an N to help secure it. So that when your gown is complete, then you turn your gown right side out and your sleeve, sleeve and shoulder seams are done, your necktie is completed, your waistband is completed. Thank you.